Hello folks, it's Sean Mize here and in today's video I'm going to show you how I duplicate a squeeze page along with its tracking elements to uh, create that squeeze page for two new additional traffic sources. So we're just starting out with the squeeze page right here. It's got a web form on it where people can uh, input their name and email address and then that web form is tagged for this generic page. So what I'm going to do is, is uh, tag this for two additional uh, traffic sources. I'm going to copy this so we'll have two additional uh, uh, squeeze pages. There'll be unique URLs and they'll have unique web forms on them so that we'll be able to see when new traffic comes in, where did that traffic uh, come from. Now, as you may know, for a lot of my newer websites and a lot of the newer work, I, in fact, where the download is located is on a WordPress uh, design website. This squeeze page itself is designed in Dreamweaver. So if you are using something besides the HTML, which I kind of use here with the HTML editor, then what you will want is what you will want is a probably a plugin for your um, what you'll want is a plugin for WordPress that you will uh, be able to use to then just create a squeeze page. And I think what I'll do is just take a quick moment here and uh, show you how we could maybe find that. Okay, and let's go ahead. We'll let's go ahead and use this window here. And so basically, what I would do here is type in say squeeze page plugin for WordPress. And you'll find that there are there's a number of them that you can use. So here's one of them here, this wpsqueezepage.com. And you just buy this plugin. It comes with easy instructions. And there's another number of other ones out there. This is something that is becoming more and more popular. But you just buy it and it will create for you a squeeze page right there on your WordPress website. So if you don't know how to create a squeeze page, then easy software like this will do it for you. Now, because I know how to create one, I'm not going to demonstrate using it. It's This is real easy whether you use this company or you use one of the other companies. Uh, you know, maybe you wanted to use this one. These should all come with easy directions. I'm not re recommending one or the other. I'm just saying, hey, go to Google and uh, find one that, that looks easy and it fits your, your price and it, it tells you uh, that they have instructions to do it. This one says, hey, it's quick and easy to install and operate. And what I've found is that when you upload these, they are really, really, really easy to do. So let's kind of come back here to, so this is the squeeze page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that squeeze page up here in Dreamweaver. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to save this as two new options. So I'm going to save it as and I'm just going to change the name on it for a different traffic source. And I'm going to do this twice. So we're going to do it with two different traffic sources. So I'm going to do it twice. And folks, this is exactly how I create new pages. If I'm cloning things for a campaign just like this, and then we'll change this. We'll put the second traffic source right here. What this is going to allow me to do is track who comes in from what source. And so now we have the two new pages. And then what I'm going to do is go back into Infusionsoft. And you can do exactly the same thing over there at AWeber or GetResponse. You can create a web form. So what I'm going to do is I kind of come in here and say add a web form. It's, again, it's very similar to what's in AWeber. I don't use Get response, so I assume it's very, very similar. And I'm just going to call this one by the traffic source name. And I'm going to copy this from another one that I've created in the past. This is, I'm going to actually copy the original web form. 
and this is going to stay the same. The call to action is going to stay the same. Now, I am going to create a new action here. I'm going to apply a tag. This is the same as using an ad tracking source in AWeber. And I'm just calling this something that's relevant to me, so I'll know exactly what the traffic source is. I'm creating that tag. I'm asking Infusionsoft to apply that tag. It's the same thing in AWeber as what they call an ad tracking code. And we'll use the same thank you page. I'm going to hit save. Get the code. right page and then we're going to go do the same thing for the other source and just come right back here we say add a web form you folks you see what I'm doing this is just it's just methodical change this to Copy one that we already have, same exact process. And folks, as easy as I make this look, this is this is how I create these kinds of things. Um, I systematize this type of thing so that when the future, when I'm creating future pages, it's oftentimes it's just as fast as this. thank you page should be the same as the last one. We'll just hit save here. We'll do the same thing here. I'm going to copy and paste. There. And okay, so basically what I just did, and I, I just kind of paused that there for a second. So basically what I just did was upload those two pages. We'll refresh this and you'll be able to see the new pages. So here's the new page with the new uh, web form for that traffic source and the new page with the new web form. For this traffic source and then any leads that come in will be tagged with the new traffic source so that's pretty much what I do if I'm creating multiple traffic sources and it, it works just about as easy as what I I just shared with you